Welcome back everyone. In this video, we've got a real quick and easy one. I'm gonna show you how to cook pork chops in a charcoal barbecue. All right, so we'll get started by getting some charcoal going. So we'll lay down some fire lighters on our charcoal grate, light them up. Then you wanna get a full chimney worth of briquettes or lump charcoal on. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes before those briquettes will be ready. As you can see here, we've got some beautiful pork loin cutlets. This cook's gonna be perfect if you're working with any sort of pork steak or chop that has the rind on there still. Now, as always, the key to that perfect crackling is nice dry skin. The butcher's actually done most of the hard work for us here because it's been hanging in their cool room. That skin's been lightly scored as well. But what we're gonna do now is quickly season our pork loins. We're gonna be using our new honey soy rub today. So we'll season both sides and then we'll give that skin a light brush with some oil. Then we'll give it a sprinkle of salt. And now they are ready to go. So we'll come back once these briquettes are ready. All right, so these briquettes are ready to go. So we can take them out for a moment. And for this cook, we're gonna be using our kettle crown. So we'll place that in the center of our charcoal grate and get these briquettes in. Then we can shut our lid and make sure our top and bottom vents are wide open. All right, so we're gonna wait until this barbecue gets up to our cooking temperature, which for this cook is gonna be around the 450 to 500 Fahrenheit or 230 to 260 degrees Celsius mark. It won't take long to get there. So while that's happening, we've got a beautiful little chunk of Aussie oak from Natural Smoke ready. Since we're only cooking two pork cutlets today, you don't need a big chunk of smoking wood. There's not much more we need to do now. So we'll come back once this barbecue's ready and we'll get these pork cutlets on. All right, so it's only been a couple of minutes. We're right on that range we wanna be at. So let's get these pork chops on. So we'll open our lid. We'll get our cooking grate on. I've just given it a light spray with oil just so our pork cutlets don't stick. And then if you were cooking a bunch of pork cutlets, chops or steak, you would line them up around the outside and you'd rotate your cooking grate every 10 to 15 minutes so you get a nice even heat distribution. Or if you're using a kettle style barbecue without a hinge lid, you just rotate your lid instead. And then next we're gonna get these pork cutlets on. We're gonna place them just like so. We want that skin to be facing towards the fire and that's gonna build some really nice crackling. Then we'll get our beautiful little chunk of smoking wood on. We'll shut our lid and let these pork cutlets cook away. All right, so we want that crackling to build nice and fast because we only wanna take them pork cutlets to an internal temperature of around 145 Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. That's why we've got our barbecue super hot and we've faced that skin towards the fire. And the beauty about this barbecue is I can see how them pork chops are coming along through that vent hole. So we're gonna let these go for about half an hour before we actually open that lid and check on them. It's really important to not open that lid too often because it's gonna let a bunch of heat escape and it's really gonna prevent that crackling from forming. So we'll let these go for a while and we'll come back once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. Some pretty epic crackling happening on these pork cutlets. Quick check of the internal. So these are just about ready. So that crackling is looking nice now. And just to get a nice sear on the outside, I'm just gonna finish them off for about 30 seconds aside directly over this charcoal. All right, so I've just let these rest for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to taste. Crackling sounds good. Mmm, I mean, look at that. Nice and juicy, beautiful crackling and super tasty. Now, honestly, if you're worrying about burning your pork chops, because it is quite easy to overcook them when you're working with such high heat, you can always smoke them slowly first, just for half an hour or so to get a nice subtle smoke flavor, and then finish them off in the air fryer to really build that crackling. The choice is yours, whatever makes your life easier. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these off camera. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.